Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome back. Please do subscribe to the channel, like this video, and if you really like this video, please share it to your profiles because nothing helps the channel grow than shares from you. So Gemini, let's get into it. This is a uh, Gemini energy. So wherever Gemini influences your natal chart, you can apply this energy for the next seven to 10 days. So Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wh wherever Gemini influences your chart, you can apply if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. There's no need to do it. Maybe check out your sun sign. Maybe check out your moon sign. That might ring a bell a little bit. It, you know, might ring a bell a little bit better for you. Um, as always, there's always an extended reading. So I'm going to do a full oracle card spread here for the energy reading and then articulate it with an extended reading. That link is in the description box and in the comments below and includes your romance predictions baby yeah we also have romantic tarot so look for that link above um lots of cards just came out and they're all facing me so clearly they all want me to know okay but what's the crowning energy that's what i need to know now <laughs> can't be all the crowning energy i don't think so There we go. Okay. What? Okay. Gemini. Dream the world into being. Something from your past is going to inspire your future. Eight plus three, eight, nine, ten, eleven awakening. I honestly do feel like this is a deep, an awakening from your depths, an awakening from your past. And the reason I say that, Gemini, is because yes, Mercury is in retrograde and it is in retrograde through Pisces. So this can make you a lot more reminiscent, a lot more dreamy, um, and a lot more melancholy than you usually are. Uh, take the time, just do it, feel it to heal it. Let it happen because it's not like you can resist the pull of your planet. Trust it. Trust where it's going to take you. And I think it's going to take you to some dark places or places where things that you thought were dead, things that you thought were over coming back and maybe meaning something more to you. And I don't think they're going to mean something more to you permanently, but they're going to mean something more to you right now. And the right now is going to inspire something for the future. There's an idea waiting for you in the past. Oh, I love that. That's definitely going to be your quote. There's an idea waiting for you in the past. And that's what you're revisiting. It's almost like you're going back in a time machine to see what you can learn and see what you can take. Not like take as in steal or physically take, but the lessons that you can take and the advice that you can take from something in your past that wants to speak to you. Are you getting dreams? Are you getting like psychic interruptions? Are you getting messages? Like, um... This could be a time for you that is psychically heightened. So trust it and let it happen. I think that there's some inspiration coming your way because you are looking toward the future and it is hopeful and it is light and, and, and you are sort of anxious to get to it, but don't push because when things are in retrograde, especially when your planet is in retrograde, if you push against its motion, you will break something or you will force something into being that, that is going to fail uh, big time. Also a sense of people misinterpreting or not being ready for your idea, not understanding now anyway. So this is something that you get inspired by and start working on, but you definitely keep it hidden. Keep it to yourself for now. The world is not ready and I don't think the idea is fully fleshed out, but please do trust in this pull backward because it's going to help you a great deal into catapulting you forward trust in that that i'm sure of we have time to let go three plus one maybe it's time to let go of tethers maybe it's time to let go of structure maybe it's time to let go of those things that have become routine and the norm for you maybe it's just time to let go of something that's making your heart hurt especially if it is those things like staying still staying stagnant or something that's been long standing in your life that hasn't been working for a long time it's time to let it go this card is such a beautiful card 
It's once again a card of the underworld. Um, it does tend to have like that Virgo energy to it, but now I'm seeing more of a Pluto energy to it, not full on Scorpio, but underworld. The heat, this is our little shaman. He goes into those paths, into those realms unseen. And that's what I was talking about in your crowning energy, those memories, those, those psyches, those things that are hidden, the underworld, going into that underbelly, going into those things that maybe you put away because they did hurt you and they hurt you a long time ago. And it's not that you're not over it, but there's some little bits and pieces that you could still gnaw on to like, like, like suck out the bone marrow type of thing. Like, you know, suck up the bone marrow from the skeletons. You, there is still some sort of nourishment that you can get from it. There is. I like that. Use your mind wisely. Strategery. Seven plus four. Energy of 11. Awakening. Awakening to the impossible, Gemini. Even if you thought this would never happen, a connection to the past, inspiration from the past, communication to the past, like some sort of reconciliation that you never dreamed of. Hey, you don't have to dream of it. If, but what I'm saying is with this array of cards so far, you don't have to have imagined it or even planned it. Just go along with it and trust it because this is the impossible becoming possible. This is when pigs fly, when pigs fly, piggy, 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 piggy's flying. The impossible is happening this week. And it's not just happening through you, it's happening to you. It's happening around you. Like something that you hadn't thought about. I don't, for you guys, I don't think it's that you never thought would happen, but it's something that you haven't thought about in a while. Awakening to a possibility that was never a possibility before. This is really a beautiful time for you to get new inspiration and new ideas, to have your mind broadened into those pathways you normally wouldn't go, which is below and underneath and too deep. But you're being called there for a reason. You're here for a reason. You're in the psyche and the memory of the zodiac. Your, your Mercury is visiting the psyche and the memory of the zodiac for a reason. Pick bits and pieces of those ideas, you know, those like avant-garde, but like um, throwback ideas, those like, those like classic ideas, like look to the past for those new ideas. I'm telling you, that just sums up your reading. Be peace. This is divine. This is holy. This is spirit interaction with you. Maybe even spirit talking directly to you. This is really feeling like Feeling good in a place that you never expected to feel good. Being welcome in a place that you never expected to be welcome. Um, an energy of this could actually be an olive branch being offered to you as well. Coming out of the blue, which is what leads you into, I don't know, the olive field. And then all of a sudden it's like, I like olives. You know, <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but... Trust where this path is taking you and trust where the dove is leading you. If you hear the soft coo, follow it. This is also an energy of love. This is Libra energy, an offer of love, an offer of peace, an offer of reconciliation coming your way that you never thought that you would expect to hear, but or to give. It could be vice versa. Um, yeah, you could always flip around these energies. Be playful. Stay in the shallows. Really contrasting and contradict, co contradictory. Yeah, energy. Um, five plus one is six. This has to do with love. This is the central energy for your card. No, this is not your love reading. But this has to do with who you love. Stay shallow. Stay on the surface. This isn't about the depth or, or diving in deep into love this week. It's about letting things happen to you going with the flow and diving in deep to the past, the memory and even history. So it's about ideas diving under the surface, but when it comes to love and when it comes to relationships, keep it happy, keep it light, keep it playful, keep it open. You will have no problem doing this, but there does seem to be a need to remind you to do this or to make you feel okay with doing this because you might feel a little bit tempted to go too deep in terms of a romance or a romantic situation this week just because that's the Piscean energy that's calling you. Um, five plus three is eight, the energy of destiny and infinity. So this is destined. Um, 
uh, this is destined. This is this is sort of the cosmos lining up and putting you smack dab in the middle of Pisces. Watch and wait. Go very, very slow and don't make decisions. This is a week for inspiration, Gemini. It's not a week that you have to make decisions. And if anybody tries to force you into decisions, smile with your beautiful, amazing charm and don't make the decision. Like walk out of the room, charming the crap out of them, being playful, being coy, and not making up your mind. Because this is not the time to make up your mind. It's the time to take in the facts and take in the new scenery and explore and understand what's around you and really enjoy this new mindset or this new atmosphere that you're in. You may actually be in a new place. You may be going on vacation, taking a break, like being in a place that you've never been before. Whatever this is, you're surrounded by energy that you may have never thought you'd be in, you may have never imagined. It's brand new for you, but I do believe it has something to do with retro, something retro. That's all I can say. Be generous of spirit, lion, 10, ferocity, and looking to the future. You see that? So awesome. <laughs> Gemini. Thank you for bearing with me. Confidence in who you are. This is self-esteem. This is your heart, and that's why it's green. It was the lion, the Leo energy rules the heart chakra. So this is definitely feeling confidence or feeling confident in who you are, believing in yourself, knowing your heart, believing in your heart and soul, um, and not questioning it and not doubting it. So this is telling me that you will be feeling really good about yourself. I love, love, that the more air energy, your energy is looking forward. Pisces is looking back, which it's supposed to. And then Leo is looking forward. So there is the look like look right, look left, look right. Like take in, this is your stop sign. You're at a stop sign this week. Be confident in it. Take in that information. You're meant to pause right now. You're not meant to not go on, not continue. You're meant to absorb this information so that you can make, you know, when, when you decide to put your pedal to the metal again, you know, to put your, to put that gas back on and to start rolling again, you're rolling in a direction that's actually makes you happy, inspires you and keeps you motivated. Look at this going into your, um, almost your, your grounding energy. The miracles are endless. Taurus energy, being selected, being chosen, even being lucky. Um, yeah, this could be a really good week for you. Who else is having a really good week? Pisces is having a really good week. Maybe you're hanging out with some Pisces and like just chilling with the Pisces crowd. I don't know, you know, um, a lot of a lot of luck, unexpected luck, unexpected fortune. And I'll tell you why. Because you allowed yourself to stay open to it. You could have seen all of this as irritation. You could have seen all of this as inconvenience. But because of that open mind sort of traveler way about you, that curiosity about you, that wanting to get to know new people and learn new things from new people, you didn't question. You didn't ruin it or impede yourself impede your experiences with questions instead remaining open and trusting in fate and trusting in yourself just kept you open and, and now it's almost like you're seeing miracles where you could have seen impediments or obstacles bring a gentle touch and this is virgo energy bring a gentle touch your mercury sister sign this is an energy of inquiry of taking time and being patient, not rushing things, of letting, you know, of, of getting stable on those wobbly legs that fawns are born with, is giving yourself time in a new environment to not rush yourself, not push yourself. It is also a card of love, something that is nutritional, something that feeds your soul, something that comforts you and keeps you safe. Eight plus one is nine. That means something is coming to a head. I think somebody's taking care of you. Somebody unexpected, maybe. Somebody that you didn't see or, or wouldn't have asked to stick up for you and stand up for you. Could be coming from a Leo. Yep, 
could be coming from a Leo that basically gives you something or chooses something or shows you or expresses love towards you that you did not expect. And now when I say love, it doesn't necessarily have to do with romance, but it's like about kindness. Let's see which cards want to come out. I want two more. Time to collaborate. One. You're definitely working with somebody. You're definitely getting inspired with ideas through people. It's what you're best at, is understanding the world by talking to people, by engaging people, by questioning people, by even sometimes manipulating people, but um, working with people. You're learning through them. Be gentle, be kind, don't push. Don't push your relationships, don't push your circumstances especially don't push anything new just let it happen and let it unfold very very slowly this week don't push too hard um be fearless and bold this is brash this is sexy sassy this is sexy energy this is aries energy this is a strong sense of self don't give yourself away to a collaboration stay a little bit distant this week That's why you want to go go easy. You could be tempted to actually get back into a relationship or get back into a, um, or rush into a relationship, rush, rush into a situation or a circumstance. I just read a meme today that I'm thinking about because of this reading. And it said, welcome to Pisces season. You know, get ready for, let yourself get into those bad relationships, make those mistakes. Like, cause that's what Pisces would do, right? But um, I honestly think this reading is calling you to be ready. Um, go easy. Go easy. And believe in yourself. Like find, find a joy. Like believe in yourself. Indulge in yourself, not in somebody else. Watch your words. Yeah, definitely. So this is all your grounding energy and it's really good advice for you. Five, four plus five is nine, something coming to a head. Oh, see, this is the one place where you could trip up and that's communication. And that's because Mercury is in retrograde and your words could be used against you. And you could say something that people take to heart that you didn't mean that way. And so this is a time for more listening than speaking. FYI, um, and then set health, healthy boundaries. Yeah, you're not gonna want to, you're gonna be tempted to get into a love, to get into a romance, and you can, but don't get too deep into it. Like watch it and set those boundaries, put those walls up, or this is more, this is, this is more about putting walls up during Pisces season than it is taking them down. I'm just gonna let you know that, Gemini. But this is definitely the energy of be sure you don't reveal your full self to everybody. You don't reveal your full hand. Don't, especially don't talk too much. Don't brag too much. Don't say too much. And remember what I said in the crowning energy? This idea that you have is something that you need to hold on to for now as you construct it. This is a time for inspiration. It's not a time for announcement or proclamation. So I don't want you going and sharing too much. That's the warning that I just got. Don't share too much, especially when this is brand new, because ideas could easily be stolen from you and be made valuable for somebody else. That's a big old warning sign, FYI. Let me flip the camera around. So there you go. All in all, it's a really good week with some very valuable warnings. Yes, be confident, but this is grounding energy of like, watch your freaking words and watch what you say. Just to warn you, 
you might feel a little bit too confident in a relationship or a connection that you make. Be bragging about somebody that you make. Be, I'm sorry, be bragging about somebody that you meet. Be bragging about your ideas, talking about your ideas to them, telling people too much about your thoughts, letting them in too far. Don't do that. Go easy. Be conservative. Hold back. Hold, hold a little bit to yourself this week. I'm not telling you to keep secrets. Go ahead, be playful. Have those shallow relationships. Keep it shallow and don't let them in too far. Pisces is going to try to tempt you into just diving in those depths. Like I said, it's fine to dive in those depths for inspiration and intellectual inquiry. A hundred percent. But when it comes to love, just play on the shallows. And don't reveal too much. Say as little as possible this week. That's a good thing to know. Let's get into your extended reading. I will see you guys over there. I'm going to get a little bit more into this energy of this unknown and these red flags. Um, let's move over to the, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'll see you guys over there. The extended link is below and then we'll also do your romance reading as well. Gemini, I'll see you guys over there.